Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome into your Farm Sim Weekend Update. Guys, this is the show where we look at pretty much all the new news, the new mods, and new updates for Farming Sim 19, Farming Sim 22 as well this past week. Well, actually, you know what? Technically, it's two weeks this week because this guy was on vacation for a week. I know, I know, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get back to it right now. Is this the kind of guy you want to spend a vacation with? But we'll start off talking right about Farming Simulator 22. Fortunately, well, unfortunately, I guess, not a lot of information has been, well, pushed out the last two weeks or so. We know that FarmCon is right around the corner, so we should be seeing a whole bunch of information then. So stay tuned to the channel near the end of the month, the 20th, 23rd. We're gonna be finding out a whole bunch more information on Farming Sim 22 there. As well, make sure you guys go check out the Farm Sim show where we had a chance to talk with the newest community coordinator for Giants, Criminator, and a long talk about, well, everything that he's into as well as what his thoughts are on Farm Sim 22. Make sure you guys go check out that video. It was an interesting discussion. We get a new insight into Giants and into Farming Simulator 22, more on the North American side, which is great to see. But other than that, guys, not a lot of new news, and I don't know if we're gonna get anything else before FarmCon. I think FarmCon right now might be what we're waiting for. If we get anything else, it'll be this week. If not, we're gonna have to wait a couple weeks. That's my personal opinion, tinfoil hot time. So with that being said, let's jump back. Let's go take a look at Farming Sim 19, see what the new mods are that have been released this last week and a bit that we haven't had a chance to talk about yet. There's been some real good ones, actually. In fact, some of the more complex mods that we've seen for Farming Sim 19 uh, to date have been released this past week. Let's dive in, let's start talking about it. So we need to start by talking about the TLX Phoenix Wreckit by 82 Studio. Guys, once again, another amazing mod by 82 Studio. I know I tend to drool over all of his mods, but this is once again, an amazing mod. That's all I can really say. It's the TLX Phoenix, but it's something else. It has a whole wrecker system that you can pretty much tow anything that's got any kind of a connection point. Now, of course, you know 82 Studio, it wouldn't just be that, it's it. It's, of course, it's gonna have an absolute ton of various different options for customization, for coloring, pretty much anything you can think of as far as a record goes, 82 Studio has done it with this machine. Absolutely amazing, so many cool things that can be done with this and just an, an options that are, no one ever really thought of that it could be done, especially in the Mod Hub. I know there's some options that are offsite that kind of give the same idea, they don't work nearly as well as this. No one does it quite like 82 Studio. Okay, I'm gonna stop drooling just for a sec over the racket. We gotta keep on moving along. Next, we've got the JCB Agri Load All. This one here is done by Ross and Mods. Now, it looks like just a normal JCB Telehunter, but it is a high detailed mod. You've got quite a few options and it works really well. It's got some different control schemes that not all telehandlers we've seen have. So I'll definitely give this one a recommendation. Take a look at uh, the JCB Agri Load All. Then let's move on to the Broit X20. This one's by North Modding Company. Now, like I said earlier, there's some very kind of complex mods that have been released this week. We had the Racket we just already spoke about, but this one here as well, well, it is just an excavator and there are limited uses, of course, for the most part in farming sim for a an excavator. However, the interesting thing about this particular excavator is the way you can load it onto different types of vehicles and tow it around. Now, this, pa this, this mod comes with four pieces of equipment. You have two excavators and a dolly and a trailer, depending on how you have things set up. They all work the way they should. You have to wrap things up, put it on your trailer, fold it up and connect it to whatever you have that has any kind of a connection point. Very interesting mod. I love the way that this hooks up. I don't think anyone's really thought of the way this does things. So it's interesting to see if anyone else can come up with something else that's similar to this, but utilizes the same kind of mechanisms. Uh, absolutely love this kind of a new idea for a mod. Next up, guys, we have Lizard T and Body Works. This one's done by Holzis FS. Hope I got that name right, Holzis. I think I got it right. Guys, this is a set of two different trucks. You have the Body Works T as well as the Body Works G. You got single axle, double axle kind of thing going on there. Look at it that way. Now, the, the big difference, of course, each one of these also has an option for a grain bin. So you can use this as a grain truck. Love this. Also, you can have a flat deck on both of these as well. It can be used to tow well, pretty much anything. If you want to put pallets on, seed, fertilizer, all that stuff, you could put even pieces of equipment and strap it down on top. And there's also ramps. You can put ramps out the back and load equipment back up inside of it. Very cool. I especially like the grain truck option. Nice to see a grain truck make it into the bot hub like this. Now, also some mods that we missed the previous week, the versatile four-wheel drive tractors. Now you get two different tractors with this bad boy. Of course, you get the Delta track or you get the four-wheel drive version. Each have, well, a number of different options included with them. The track version has some different track sizes. 
but you get engine sizes all the way up to 650 horsepower and we got a versatile that's in the mod hub this is pc only mind you but this is still great to see hopefully we can get some versatile over to the mod on the mod hub for console players as well but not to worry console players there is one big bright shining star you got the alice shalmer's 8550 uh this past week this one has been done by julian f modding not a ton of options on this one but you're getting an alice chalmers for all platforms this has a base rate of 302 horsepower not a ton of options like i said but you got an alice chalmers in the mod hub for all platforms love to see this now of course there have also been a few maps that have been released this week but most notably this week folks welcome to american life farming by lancy boy it was released finally for all platforms i know a lot of pc players were waiting on this one it's finally been released out for all platforms the console and the pc version is currently the same however there are updates coming out that will change that just a little bit so we're going to see some updates come out the next week probably that will change this i know it's for uh in, in testing right now for pc as well so we'll see some changes in the next coming week but it is now currently available for all platforms i know a lot of you've been waiting on this one and speaking of maps for pc players oklahoma 4x was released this past week as well this one's done by dj modding once again we've been kind of waiting on this one for a little bit make sure you go check that out if you're on pc you're going to find this over on mod network or also over on dj modding's facebook page about a 4x oklahoma map always good to see more of these midwest or north american maps come out because we just don't seem to have enough of them so that's really it for new mods this past week just looking over the testing list what's currently in testing for the mod hub right now you can see we don't have well there's a quite a bit actually in testing not a lot waiting only five mods waiting to be tested so still a really quick turnaround on mods being sent in to be tested now mods that we're kind of looking forward to a little bit i see we got an update for almost a farm going out there once again of course also american life farming is on that list like we talked about already we got some case axial flow packs curious about that for sure and of course the f100 the 1975 f100 and fuel tank i'm really interested in seeing more on this one of course there's might be somebody else who's done some reviews on that truck that looks very interesting to me i'd love to see more of that style f100 trucks maybe come into the mod hub but please give us some more so with that being said folks you should be all up to date now on your, your farm sim news we'll be back next week with another weekend update of course the farm sim show will be on friday once again right on this channel right here so make sure you guys reach down the bottom click that red subscribe button ring the bell so you don't miss anything we have going on here on the channel and other than that folks have a great week and we will catch you next time Cheers to you folks. See you then. This is Clutch. Over and out.